This article is coming from Bloomberg. Australian dollar in danger of hitting a 2023 low over China Fed RBA policy gap. The Australian dollar is in danger of hitting its lowest point this year as China's growth target disappoints and weak local data may cause the central bank to temper its policy stance. China's relatively modest 5% growth target is a headwind for exports as it signals large scale stimulus is unlikely. The Australian dollar has tumbled as much as 6.5% from its February high, weighed by ratcheting Fed bets, parring back of euphoria of China's abrupt end to its COVID zero stance and sluggish Australian growth. All right, so let's just go straight to the Australian dollar chart. Let's start with the monthly chart. And I'm going to say price is sandwiched between the most recent highs at 0.7178 and the most recent lows at 0.61850. However, price, you have this downward bias. supported by the monthly down trend line. Okay, let's go to the weekly chart. Okay. So the current weekly chart has declined on decent volume. So you had a drop in price Last week you had a doji candle and then another drop. So there are weekly buyers at this level. Weekly sellers. If I said buyers, I meant to say sellers. Sorry about that. Zero point six seven five six five now in order for this zone to work or the probability of this zone to work increases if say price closed below this pivot low the fact that we're getting a bounce potentially tells me that you may not get a strong reaction if price pulls back to the level at 0.67565 and based on the monthly chart this down trend line lower highs, lower lows, lower highs you know, lower lows. Based on a weekly chart, this would be a target. There are no buyers on the weekly chart in this candle here. Alright, let's go down to the daily chart. Okay, so this level at 0.65625 found some buyers. You had this huge drop and you had two doji candles, so there was indecision or battle between the buyers and sellers, and now price is moving higher. So this is a zone. I won't mark it up, I'll just color it blue. So this zone, which we're going to call demand, kind of limits your reward to risk ratio. However, since this zone is a weekly and this is the daily, the probability 95 out of 100 times is 
the weekly zones are going to trump the daily zones. Just know that if price was to pull back and then decline, this will be the first test. Now, it may or may not work out timing wise. Uh, next week you have uh, the US CPI report. You know, potentially price is going to continue to rise into that report and then drop on the report. I don't know. I don't know. But that's the setup. Um, I would be willing to go short. Depending on how the price action pulls back to the area. If it forms more support levels or demand levels, then you know it lowers your probability of this setup working. It's Friday, so next week let's see how price action pans out. Until next time.